Hi and welcome to PM Studios Photoshop Tutorials. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a uh, a wallpaper pretty much. Um, it's a wallpaper that looks like a whole bunch of bubbles. I really enjoy this um, tutorial and I've been creating a lot of them. I, I really enjoy them. I have a co an individual copy, a very unique copy of this tutorial, this effect, or this wallpaper rather, on every single one of my home computers. So, we're going to start off by going to File New or Control N, and we're just going to set the width to 1920 by 1200. If you know exactly what resolution your computer is, you can go ahead and create one to your exact resolution, and go ahead and push OK. Now, once we do that, we are going to go here to the uh, the foreground and background colors, and we're going to change your black to your foreground color, and then click on it. And we're going to change the color to 26. 26, 26, 26, which is going to give you a really dark gray. And we're going to go to the paint bucket tool. And it may look like the gradient tool at the moment. Just right click on it and go to paint bucket. Fill the entire background with that. <coughs> now we're going to push the U button, which is going to give us the shape tool. With the shape tool, if it's set to square, rounded square, poly um, polygon, line, or freeform, go ahead and set it to the ellipse tool. It's the one that looks like a circle. And now what we're going to do is we're going to hold down shift and we're going to draw a circle. The reason why we're holding down shift is because if you do that, it will make a perfect circle. Um, Alright, so once we've done that, we're going to go in here to the effects. As you see, mine's already done. But what you're going to do is you're going to go here to the blending options, which is the very first tab that it opens up when you start out, default. And we're going to change the fill opacity to 50%. After that, we're going to go open up a stroke, or apply a stroke, and then open up that window, and then go here to size, and it's going to be 10 pixels, and the color is going to be black. You leave everything else the same. And we're just going to push OK, and now what we should be able to do is we should be able to chain, turn off the background, turn off the, uh, the visibility of the background, and we should have a semi-transparent circle with a black stroke outlining. And that's exactly what we want right now. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on our arrow button, and we're just going to click away from the layer, click on the layer once more, then go to Edit, Define Brush Preset. After we've done that, we can name it Bubbles or Bokeh, whatever you want, and then you're just going to push OK. After you've done that, you have the choice of either deleting this layer or just turning off the visibility. I normally delete it. I'm going to do a new layer, and then we are going to go to the layer, new fill layer, gradient, I'm push OK. And right here we're going to click on the gradient editor and then click on this little little arrow button uh, right next to the presets and we're going to go down here to spectrums. After we've done spectrums we're just going to click on the very first one. As you can tell it's a very very vibrant uh, gradient. It's all the colors of the rainbow. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the angle to 45 degrees. And you could probably reverse that if you want so that the green's on the bottom. We're just going to push OK. And now with this layer selected, we're going to do Overlay, which is going to give you a little darker. After we've done that, we're going to go to the Brush tool. And we're going to click on this drop-down and select our brush, whatever it is. So, yours is going to be the very last one at the very bottom, and it's going to be titled Boca, whatever, so I'm going to select it. And no matter what the master diameter is preset, we're just going to change it to 600. And bear in mind, this is all in relative terms to the 1920 by 1200 resolution. Next thing we're going to do is going to go here to Brushes, this little tool right here. If you don't have that Brushes tool, you can go here to Window tab. And we can go down here to brushes, or you can just push F5. And when you check that, it will automatically add it to this little tray here. So we're just going to go here into brushes, and we are going to go to shape dynamics, scattering, and other dynamics. Now we're going to go up here to brush tip shape, and we're going to change the spacing to 100% from 25%, which is the uh, the regular. Then into shape dynamics, we're going to do 150. And then for the scattering, it's going to be 1,000 percent, 
on the very top, the count is going to be 5, and the count jitter is going to be 1%. And then the other dynamics, the opacity jitter is going to be 50%, and the flow jitter is going to be 50%. So we can just minimize that. And now what we've got is we need to create a new layer, and we can just drag it across the screen once. If you have that error that I just got, which was these little bubbles that pop up bad, you just need to control Z to undo it, and then switch the foreground color to white. And we can just drag it across the screen one more time. You don't want too many bubbles or the, uh, the wallpaper starts getting really crowded. So after we've gotten the first set of bubbles, we're going to push control G with the layer of the bubble selected. And after we do that, we're going to change the blend mode of the, the, uh, the group to color dodge. Which is going to give you something relative to this. After we do that, we're going to go to Filter, oopsies, with the layer selected, not the group, Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, we're going to change it to 40. Uh, yeah. Might actually want to do 20 for this size. You still want to be able to see the bubbles, but it should be hard for them to see like they're not in focus. So for me, it's going to be 15. After we do that, um, by the way, I'm going to click on Zoom and Fit Screen. That way you have a better chance, better ability to see it. Alright, so after we do that, we're going to go back to our brush tool, and we're going to create a new layer inside that group, Layer 2. And then we're just going to go up here to the, the brush options and decrease the, uh, the brush size to somewhere around 400 or 300. It's really a matter of choice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do another sweep through. As you can tell, the bubbles are getting relatively smaller as we go. It's obvious because we're bringing the brush size down. After that, we're going to go to Filter again on this new layer, and we're going to go to Blur, or Gaussian Blur. And instead of 15, we're going to do something like 7. Actually, 5 might do wonderful. Yep, 5 will do fine. Alright, so after we've done that, we're going to create one last new layer. We're going to decrease the size 100 from whatever you set it to, so if you set it to 300, go ahead and set it to 200. If I set it for 400, so I'm going to set it to 300. You know, you get the idea. So I'm just going to drag it across, and we can put as many bubbles as we like. I'm going to try to be a little liberal about it, because... Um, if you put too many, the uh, the entire image looks cluttered. Alright, so after this we're going to Gaussian blur this one as well. Only this time it's going to be like one or two. It's not going to be too much. So I would suggest no more than two, but you definitely want to blur on there. Alright, so after we've done that, we've officially created our brand new wallpaper. It looks very bi vibrant, and that's exactly the way it should look can minimize the group and there we go. <laughs> if you get rid of the background layer it gets extremely bright so be careful about that. Be cautious. Anyways I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you next time. Um, just as an example of what I did for my final project. Uh, where's my background? I created this one and then I added a little bit of text on there. Let me see if I can't find the final, the absolute final product. So as you can see, I added my uh, my text right there. Yep, fit screen. See, there we go. PM Studios. All right. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you.